Hello everybody, welcome to another video from Currency Collector Searcher. Thanks for joining. I've been out for a little over a week, so if you haven't uh, seen any videos, that's, that's why. So thanks for your patience and understanding. Um, this video here is the recent online currency sales roundup. What I do here is I am going to outline some of the more prominent sales of $1 bills uh, from eBay um, that occurred over the past uh, week or so um, to give you an idea of the potential that's out there when you search and keep your eyes open on these fancy serial number uh, uh, dollar bills. Now this can be for anything from ones to hundreds, but the one dollar bills of course are the ones that have the biggest profit margin because their face value is the lowest. So I focus mostly on one dollar bills. Sometimes you'll see a two or a five, but um, for, the, for the most part ones. Uh, there's some uh, uh, great uh, uh, dollar amount that some of these are being sold for. As you see on the thumbnail here, these low fancy serial number notes are, are, are really selling uh, very nice right now. Uh, they're becoming more and more popular. A lot of people want these. They're, uh, they're pretty desirable. Uh, so you'll see some of those as well as some other ones that you may not uh, really uh, uh, have thought about. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, I want to show you this. Uh, this is a uh, pretty all-encompassing list of the fancy serial numbers to search for. I want to encourage you to pause the video for a second, take a snapshot of this, so you can have a uh, uh, a sheet that shows you uh, it shows you on the left hand side uh, the name of the fancy serial number, and then it gives you a numeric example over to the right. So go ahead and take a snapshot of this uh, for your own record, so you can uh, you know uh, know what you see when you find it. Uh, all right, and, and not miss anything. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. All right. So um, I have about, uh, I don't know, 20 or so of these to show you. What I want to show you here is um, if you take a look at this, this is from eBay. The fancy serial number search that I did currently comes with over 18,000 results for fancy serial numbers. This was 15,000 a couple months ago, then 16, 17. Now we're over 18,000. So this is gaining in popularity, everybody. Okay. If you're not participating in this, you're really missing out. Um, on, uh, on the opportunity to put cash in your pocket, all right? Now, these are, these are the ones that are for sale. The ones that have sold, eBay uh, shows the sold items for the past 90 days. Now we're over 5,600, okay? Uh, a month ago, we were 5,400. Uh, now we're over 5,600. So as you see, you know, people are, uh, people are capitalizing on this and, uh, uh, and selling uh, these on eBay, and, and of course, you know, people are buying these on eBay as well. So it's a growing market. So if you're not participating, I want to encourage you to, you know, watch my videos, uh, you know, like and share, subscribe, uh, you know, because my channel explains all this for you in great detail in my many, many videos and, and future ones that will be upcoming as well. So, all right, so let's take a look at some of these notes here. Uh, these are the buyer's uh, eBay uh, displays here that I'm showing you. Um, so uh, the first one here, uh, this is a um, a trinary repeater. Check this out. This is nine. This is a 2021 note. Also, it's 1900, 1900. It's trinary because it's zeros, ones, and nines, and it's a repeater. Uh, 1900, 1900. A very, very rare. Uh, this is a very, very nice note in obviously great condition because it's fairly new. Um, and, and this one had 24 bids, um, and it sold for 34 dollars. So these with the same number. Uh, you know, the first four digits and second four digits. Um, you know, these are called quad repeaters. These are very highly desirable, especially when they're in round numbers like this in the hundreds or if it was, you know, 1,000, 1,000 or 8,000, 8,000. They're highly desirable. Uh, so very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. All right, now this one here, this is a, uh, it's called a near solid, okay? It has, uh, you know, seven sixes, all right? Um, it is a um, seven of a kind as well, all right? Now this note here uh, appears to be in pretty nice condition. I know this seller, you know, uh, uh, you know, does like to make the notes look, uh, you know, very bright there, so it kind of can cover up some of the flaws on the note. Um, but um, uh, this note here in this condition, these are highly desirable by collectors out there. Uh, seven of a kind. Um, in this condition, this one had fifty people bidding or fifty bids, uh, and it sold for eighty-one dollars. Uh, a lot of times you'll see these notes go for you know, the $40, $50, $60 range, um, but uh, somebody may have had one like this and wanted to get a second one for a matching pair, um, but um, good sale here. Uh, keep your eyes open for these fancy serial numbers because they're very highly desirable. All right, now this one here, now as you saw in my thumbnail, these low serial numbers are very, very uh, desirable as well. 
Um, so this one here uh, is serial number 692, all right? So this note here doesn't have a lot of wear on it. Uh, the corners look good, the edges look good. It does have a, a, a fold down the middle, a little stain up there. So, you know, there obviously is some circulation where it's not uncirculated. You know, it is a 2013 note, so it is 10 years old. Uh, but this one in this condition uh, did manage to sell for about $40, okay? I'm not including shipping. Uh, of course, this was free shipping, but um, but yeah, so this one sold for 40 bucks. So um, I've seen them sell for quite a bit more, um, but hey, this, this seller turned $1 into 40 bucks, so good for them. Uh, this is the same seller here. Uh, th this, uh, this note here, this is a, um, uh, a called a super repeater, 62626262. It's the same number. Uh, these are literally uh, uh, one in a million. Out of 96 million notes that they print for the F block, uh, there's only you know, 96 numbers that they're going to put in here. So this is literally one in a million note, okay? Um, that's why it's called a super repeater and very, very rare. Uh, so this note in this condition uh, did manage to sell for $75. Um, and he's right, it's very rare. Um, and um, I've seen him sell for quite a bit more, but hey, you know, this, this guy or, or girl sold one for $75 and one for $40, so $2 into $115. So a great job by this seller right here. All right, now this, this was a lot. I, I know this is a dark picture. I'm going to show you uh, what these are, okay? But this is a lot. They were asking $1,000. These are, um, uh, this is 1988A. These are not web notes. These are 1988A. Uh, binary radar notes, okay? So check this out. I'll show you what it sold for in just a minute. But these are like, uh, you know, one one three 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 one one. This is a binary, two numbers. These are all ones and threes. And they're radars. They all read the same frontwards and backwards, okay? one one three one 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 three one right to left, left to right. Uh, this one, six ones in it. One, three, four ones, and then three one, okay? Uh, same here, three one, and then four threes and then one three. So you get the picture. These are all binaries and they're all radar notes, okay? So what this sold for with a best offer, I went to 130point.com, okay? And this, here, here's it, you know, this is it right here. And it sold for only $475, so less than half of what they were asking. So, you know, this seller, uh, you know, owns a coin shop. Um, I'm sure they bought it for a lot less, so they, they made out, you know, quite a bit. This is a, you know, pretty good sale for this seller. You know, it's, it's not cheap. It's, it's uh, you know, pretty expensive, but, um, you know, a, a good sale by this seller to make, you know, that amount of money on, this, on, this, on these notes. All right, so this one here, this is a traditional birthday note, May 19th, 1978, okay? Now, uh, this one uh, is the traditional way, month, day, and year, all right? Now, um, uh, this one, as you can see, you know, it's, it's, it's creased, it's quite worn, has a stain on it, you know, so it's not in the best condition. It is, you know, 20, almost 25 years old. But I can, I can attest, this sold for 30 bucks. And when people are looking for these or when they come across these, this is more of an emotional purchase. People see this and they're like, wow, this is my spouse's birthday. This is my, my child's birthday or my birthday. So this is a very emotional purchase for, for people. So this one right here sold for $30. So if you have some of these, you know, I want to encourage you, uh, you know, these will sell. Okay, I'll show you another one that's in a different format. Now, here's another low serial number. This is serial number 176. This is pretty beat up, stained, colored, you know, discolored, um, weathered, um, uh, you know. Uh, so this one uh, here, this is a low serial number. A low serial number would be four zeros or more. This one has five zeros. So the lower the number, normally the higher that it sells for. So a single digit would sell for a lot more than a three digit serial number like this, okay? Um, but this one in this condition with the three digits did manage to sell for $35 with one bid. So another great sale right there. I want to show you this because I don't normally show graded notes, but this just goes to show you that these two notes here, these are also low serial numbers. They sold for $245. This is serial number 333, and this is serial number 303, okay? Uh, these are low serial numbers. Uh, they're binaries. You know, there's a very high demand for these, okay, in ungraded and graded condition, all right? So these two together sold for $245. 66 out of 70 is a pretty high grade. You know, it's, you know, 67 or 68 would sell for a lot more. 
But you know, again, this is a very nice sale by the seller uh, to sell these two together. The top one's graded, the bottom one's not graded. Uh, but um, you know, in, in these condition, in this condition, it did sell for you know almost two hundred and fifty dollars. All right, now this here, uh, this is a um, quad pair, okay, four eights and four sixes. It's binary as well, okay, uh, double quads, four eights and four sixes. Very very hard to come by. These are very very rare. Now, as you can see, this has writing on it, not in the best condition. It's creased, it's worn, it's discolored. You know, the edges are, 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 are discolored as well. Uh, you know, a lot of people missed this in circulation because they didn't know about these. This seller knew about fancy serial numbers, pulled it out of circulation, and turned $1 into $66 with five bids. So a great sale by this seller right here. Um, so keep your eyes open for these the fancy serial numbers. I, you know, I did provide you that list at the beginning so you know what you're looking for when you're looking through your... Uh, either $100 bank straps or through your dollar bills you get in change. Now this one here, this is also a near solid. This is seven fives and an eight, okay? Uh, this one uh, is in choice, uncirculated condition, okay? So it's in very, very nice condition. Um, that's why it sold for $183, um, but it's, uh, it's also a 1999 note, so it's, uh, you know, almost 25 years old as well. Um, so, um, you know, these notes in this condition that are older can sell for quite a bit of money. And you can find these in circulation. Uh, they're rare, you know, but this one sold for $183, uh, six fives in a row, and then a seventh five right there, all right? Uh, now this one here, this is another birthday note, but this is not the traditional month, day, year. This is, I think, the European or the Armed Forces birthday note style of the year and then the month and then the day. Uh, so, you know, again, a very emotional purchase by many people. A lot of people look for these and, and buy these for family members or loved ones uh, or, or friends for, for, you know, for birthdays or anniversaries. But this one, uh, November 26th of 1979, uh, did sell for about $30. So another great sale here, turning a dollar into 30 bucks. These are, these are uh, very common to find in circulation. So keep your eyes out for these birthday notes, okay, or an an birthday anniversary notes, all right? Now this here, now check this out. Now this, these are true binaries, okay? They were asking $1,000 for this, all right? There's one, two, three, four, five, there's eight of these. Now I'm gonna show you what these are. These are all true binaries, all, all zeros and ones, okay? Uh, a thousand, a thousand, uh, you know, a, a one, four zeros, and, and then uh, three ones. So these are all, uh, True binaries, all zeros and ones. This is the old computer code, okay? So this seller, look at that. One, this is a super radar. A one and then all zeros and then a one at the end. It reads the same frontwards and backwards. So this seller um, it made a great sale turning these eight $1 bills into $1,000 in their pocket. Now, I'm sure they didn't find all these in circulation. I'm sure they probably bought some of these, you know, on, on different uh, uh, online uh uh, uh, retailers, you know, such as eBay or Heritage Auctions, whatever. But um, this seller combined all these and turned these into a thousand dollar sale. So great job by this seller to do that. Now here's another one of those quad repeaters. This is four zeros and four threes. Whenever you have zeros, this is a low serial number. So it did sell for you know quite a bit of a premium compared to the other one that we saw earlier. So this is a double quad binary uh, repeater. Okay. So this one sold for one hundred twenty five dollars. Um, uh, uh, I think it was a best offer because it doesn't show how many bids. But, you know, this one uh, uh, in this, uh, you know, pretty nice condition uh, is very uh, in very high demand uh, by collectors out there. So it did sell for $125. Now, check this out. These, these last few here are very rare. Now, this is a mismatched serial number, okay? These are very easy to miss. Now, this is an older silver certificate. It's 1957B, Okay. But on the left-hand side, the serial number is 370. On the right-hand side, it's 470. Make sure in all your notes, make sure you're looking at both sides of the serial number because this is very easy to miss. And, you know, uh, and if you find these, you can put a lot of money in your pocket, okay? These are on current notes as well. I've seen many, many of these examples. But this one, uh, in this... Uh, uh, you know, the, may have a tear down here or, or uh, some kind of a stain, but you know, it's not in the best condition, but this did sell. 
they were asking $460, okay? And it did sell, I went to 130point.com. That's the website right here, 130point.com. Click on uh, 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 search eBay sales, put in the information, and a best offer was accepted for $425. There's a note right there, okay? Sold for $425. So very, very nice sale there. All right, now this here is also very easy to not, uh, easy, very easy to miss. Uh, the left-hand side um, uh, of these notes, uh, uh, black ink got into the inkwell and contaminated the, um, the, the coloring. So the left-hand side is usually very, very dark, and the right-hand side of the top right, as you see here, is very light. So these are always bottom left dark here, and then uh, top right is light. So keep your eyes open for these, okay? These are, these are, these are valuable. Okay, you can find these in circulation. This one sold with three bids for about $27.88, so about $28, okay? So this person probably found it in circulation and sold it for $28. So great job by the seller right there. All right, now this here, I wanted to show you this because if you look at the front of the note, you know, it looks totally fine, okay? If you turn your notes over, like this person did, they found this ink, uh, ink smear on the back. So when you find these, no matter what the condition is, they're gonna sell pretty nicely. So this one, uh, one this ink smear on the back uh, sold for $20 with two bids on it, okay? So make sure you look at your notes on the front and the back, looking for ink smears, looking for uh, ink well contamination, different color serial numbers, looking for mismatched serial numbers, uh, looking for any miscuts, uh, you know, where the edges uh, are, are shaved off on the top, bottom, left, or right. Uh, make sure the, um, uh, the green seal uh, is centered. Um, you know, if it's off center, that's a, a misalignment. So there's a lot of things to look for on these notes, all right? Uh, this one here has a missing digit. This number here is gone, okay? Uh, there was some kind of, uh, uh, something got in the way there uh, of the printing, uh, and this uh, number didn't even show up. So that's a missing digit. Okay, this one sold for $25. Doesn't really matter the condition. If the number's missing, that's a huge error by the BEP or the, or the print or the, or the mint. Has a nice crease down the middle, you know, stained, discolored, old, uh, you know, so uh, it's 10 years old, it's 2013. So, you know, this, this one here sold for $25 with one bid, all right? This one here, this is what I was talking about. This is a, uh, this is a miscut note. You see there's no margin on the left there, big margin on the right. Now this is an older 1969 D note, has a little stain on it, but because of the age, because of the rarity of these uh, misaligned or, or, or miscut notes, uh, this one sold for $29.50, so a great sale there by this seller, okay? You're probably not gonna find these in circulation, you can find these at coin shows or on eBay or whatnot, but um, you know, these are out there for the taking, okay? Uh, the last couple here, uh, check this out, this is a Ascending ladder, all eight digits, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check out the condition. This was in circulation for a very long time, okay? People miss this. Look at the corner, it's discolored. The corner's uh, weathered there, has stains on it. Creased, it's creased down here through the seal. So a lot of people had this in their pocketbook or their purse or their wallet and they missed it, all right? This seller knew what he was looking for, found it, pulled it out of circulation, and with 42 bids, sold it for almost $1,000, okay? So these are out there. As you see right here, it's a great example of what's out there, okay? This seller only has a feedback of three. A, a new seller, probably very new to the fancy serial number uh, currency niche, okay? Um, but this seller found this and sold it for almost $1,000. A great way to start for this seller. This last one here, uh, this is a... Um, uh, this is a, uh, a binary because it has ones and zeros. It's a radar, reads the same frontwards and backwards, and it's also a repeater. The serial number is 1001, 1001. So this is a very, very uh, highly demand, uh, a note that's in very high demand, okay? Has three things going for it, binary, radar, and a repeater, all right? So this note is in pretty good condition. Um, it's also, you know, a, a rotator. It's a true binary. Um, and it sold with 22 bids, sold for $338, and the seller also put this as uncirculated. So this is a, a very, very nice note with a lot of things going for it, okay? Binary, radar, repeater, rotator, uncirculated. So anyway, so uh, that's, that's today's um, 
uh, today's fancy serial number wrap up for the past seven days or so. You know, go to the bank, get some $1 bank straps uh, of, of the uh, $1 notes, search for them, and uh, let me know what you find out there. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. My videos explain everything for you. And uh, like and share this video. And if you don't mind, uh, give it a like, uh, uh, you know, leave a comment as well. Thanks for watching. We'll have more videos out soon.